This is a video review of the Donaldson Koa ukulele. Uh, this has Koa um, front, back, and sides uh, with an ebony fretboard, ebony headstock, peg head tuners. Some of the special upgrades that I really like is the he binded the fretboard and put a maple purfling around the headstock. And this headstock is uh, the shape of his A mandolins that he's made. Uh, you know, he's been making instruments for 20 plus years, so I really like the look. He put a sound hole, sound hole, debatable. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I can't tell too much of a difference, and if I need it really loud anyways, um, you know, I have a pickup. So, anyways, here's some uh, sound of the ukulele. Uh, strings are Pro Artes by Dardario. Um, the reason why I asked them to put these on, um, it's a pretty warm sounding ukulele just because it's Toa, Koa, excuse me. But the main reason is because these strings are so thick in diameter, I won't have any issues putting other strings. My favorite strings are Savarez Alliance. Uh, those are by far, I think, the most consistent strings I've tried, and it sounded good on all my ukes. And, um, you know, I do like to experiment, but those are by far my favorite, and I will eventually put them on. But for now, um, these are the Pro Artes with the uh, High G. It's all, it's been um, stretching for a day, so it sounds pretty good for a day. I'm sure as it stretches uh, and the Koa ages, it will sound a lot louder and um, sound better as well. Here's something else. Uh, just to show more of the intonation of this loop, which I think is very good. strumming stuff uh, so you can hear variety on this ukulele. Sounds very uh, traditional um, ukulele sound versus my Louis Faux de Mesquita. The reason why I got that, it sounds very much like a 
mini guitar and that's a sound that I like as well. I like all different kinds and therefore we all get uh, more than one ukulele. UAS. Anyways, that concludes this video presentation. Uh, I can't say enough about these Donaldson ukuleles. Uh, I think out there, best uh, bang for the buck. Uh, obviously, uh, I have more expensive ukes. I have cheaper ukes, but I think uh, for the price, these are uh, the best value you can get out there. And one thing I like to add, he's been. Uh, he has been a luthier for 20 plus years, so he knows what he's doing. Mine is number 214. Thank you for watching.